subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi! Welcome to Test Prep Training. Today we will discuss about, Certified Application Associate, Production Planning, and Manufacturing, with SAP, ERP 6.0, EHP 7. This exam validates, your knowledge in the area of production, for the consultant profile. SAP Digital Badge Digital Badge, is a token of a specific achievement, affiliation, authorization, certification, or other trust relationship. An SAP Global Certification Digital Badge, offers a visual representation, and confirmation of your SAP Global Certification. It provides you with recognition, and adds value to your resume. Once you pass the exam, you will receive the following digital badge from acclaim. Skills developed in the C, DSCM, 42, 67 exam. This exam makes your resume shine, by verifying your expertise in the following areas. 1. Application Overview, and Background. 2. Basics on SAP Business Processes, e-learnings. 3. Lean Manufacturing, PP, REM. 4. Master Data, LDM. 5. Material, and Capacity Requirements Planning. 6. Material Requirements Planning, PP, MRP. 7. Process Orders, PP, PI. 8. Production Orders Advanced, PP, SFC. 9. Production Orders Basics, PP, SFC. Exam Details. 1. Exam Name is Production Planning and Manufacturing, with SAP, ERP, 6.0, EHP 7. 2. Exam Code is C, DSCM, 42, 67. 3. Exam duration is 180 minutes. 4. Exam format is multiple choice. 5. Number of questions are 80. 6. Exam fee is $549. 7. Exam language is German, English, and Japanese. 8. Pass score is 63% and above. Exam prerequisites. For the SAP Certified Application Associate exam, one must have a maximum of three years experience in the solution area in order to contribute to the success of the planning and implementation phases of the project in a mentored role. Exam Delivery The SAP C, DSCM, 42, 67 exam is proctored remotely, which means you can take exams anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection and a laptop or desktop computer with a webcam. Exam Registration Process To register for the exam, follow the below mentioned steps. Firstly, visit SAP Certification Hub, to registers, or log in. Secondly, review the available exams, listed on the exam dashboard, and select the SAP C, TSCM, 42, 67, Production Planning, and Manufacturing, with SAP, ERP, 6.0, EHP 7. Then, schedule a suitable exam appointment date, and time. Lastly, purchase the exam by making payment and then you will also get access to the Learning Hub. Additionally, when you visit the Learning Hub, it will show a dashboard that tracks your purchased exam and status. Exam Retake Policy If you are unable to clear the exam in the very first attempt, then don't worry, as SAP allows you to take up to six exams within the 12-month period of your subscription. Moreover, each retake counts as an attempt, and the maximum limit to attempt a specific exam is of three times. Rescheduling Policy you can cancel or reschedule your exam and certification hub by using the calendar icon in the exam appointments or upcoming appointments section. Remember that you must cancel or reschedule your exam at least 24 hours before the scheduled appointment date and time. SAP reserves the right to subtract an exam attempt if you do not cancel your appointment within the specified time of 24 hours. Certification Validity All SAP Global Certifications, including C, TSCM, 42, 67 are valid, for the two most recent solution releases. Maintaining Certification To maintain your SAP Global Certification, for a specific SAP solution, you might be required to pass Delta, or stay current assessments, when a newer version of a solution is released. Now, we will discuss about exam course. Domain 1, Material, and Capacity Requirements Planning, which comprises of more than 12% weightage in exam. This characterize production, relevant planning functionality. Domain 2, Material Requirements Planning, P, 
PP, MRP, which comprises of more than 12% weightage in exam. This explore material requirements, planning functions. Domain 3, Production Orders Advanced, PP, SFC, which comprises of more than 12% weightage in exam. This configure production, order functionality. Domain 4, Lean Manufacturing, PP, REM, PP, KAB, which comprises of 8% to 12% weightage in exam. This outline the highlights, of repetitive manufacturing, and Kanban. Domain 5, Master Data, LDM, which comprises of 8% to 12% weightage in exam. This set up master data, for production planning, and manufacturing. Domain 6, Production Orders Basics, PP, SFC, which comprises of 8% to 12% weightage in exam. This apply production order functionality. Domain 7, Application Overview, and Background, which comprises of less than 8% weightage in exam. This characterize the interplay, of master data, planning, ATP, and production functionality. Domain 8, Basics on SAP, Business Processes, E-Learnings, which comprises of less than 8% weightage in exam. This outline, the scope of SAP, SCM Business Processes. Domain 9, Process Orders, PP, PI, which comprises of less than 8% weightage in exam. This identifies specific properties, of process orders. Now, we will discuss about preparatory guide. Step 1, Review the exam objectives. The first step in your preparation guide, should always be to visit the official website. This will unquestionably put you on the right track. Remember, the official website, is the most trusted website. Step 2, Learn with SAP Learning Hub. SAP also provides you with cloud-based access, to a comprehensive SAP, skill-building knowledge base, called the SAP Learning Hub. This is inclusive of the following. A. Self-paced digital learning content, learning journeys, ebooks. B. Expert-led social learning forums. C. Pre-configured training systems, for real-world practice. Step 3. Enroll for training course. Training courses, are a must while preparing for any exam. They provide you with the real-world, experience of the concepts. Further, they supplement your exam preparations. There are various training courses available in the market. Remember to select the one, that helps you accomplish the goals, for the exam. Step 4. Join a community. Joining an online community, is certainly an ideal way to know your actual stand, in the competition. Here, you can interact with your competitors, and keep yourself focused. This will provide you the right exposure, to appear for the exam, ensuring an increase in your expertise. Step 5. Self-evaluate with practice tests. Mistakes are inevitable, but surely, they can be limited. When it comes to exams, practice papers, help a lot in limiting the mistakes. Moreover, training the brain is very essential. Practice papers give that simulation, in which the brain needs to get used to the actual exam. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.